All right, so in your, in your unit of solutions, you might come across Beer's Law. And Beer's Law states the absorbance of light at a certain wavelength is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution. And what that essentially is saying is the darker the solution, the more um, concentrated it is. So if we were to look over, actually, at these two solutions, is that these are both T solutions, um, you would automatically know that this guy is more concentrated than this guy. And that's because this guy's darker. It's actually absorbing more, um, more light than this guy. It's absorbing less light. So that's basically what Beer's Law is stating. And you can actually, um, there's a, there there is an instrument out there called the spectrophotometer that actually talks about this and measures this, uh, the absorbance, how much absorbance see it, uh, solution actually has. So if you actually were to go over back to the Beer's Law, Beer's Law states that the molarity of a particular solution divided by its absorbency is equal to the molarity of a second solution divided by its, its absorbency. So how do you get that at, at the absorbency of light? So you go to a spectrophotometer. And what that does is you have to make it at a certain wavelength. So you're gonna you're gonna um, actually have it measure give off uh, energy to, or light at a certain wavelength, and that's what's going on here. It's gonna actually uh, filter out some light, and it's gonna go through your sample and actually gonna read how much light it actually absorbed. Um, and the more concentrated the solution is, the more absorption it's gonna have. So let's go actually go over here and do a problem relating all of this together. So let's say we have a solution with a concentration of 0.14 molar. It's measured to have an absorption of 0.43. What that 0.43 is actually indicating is that it absorbs 43% of the light at that particular wavelength. Um, another solution of the same chemical is measured under the same conditions and has absorbance of 0.37, 37%. What is a concentration? Well, let's think. Before we even get to this problem, let's think what it should be. Okay, so the, the um, absorbency is lowering, so the concentration should also be lowering. So it's actually going to be more dilute. So we're going to say the, th the first molarity, which is 0.14 molar, divided by its absorbency, which is 0.43, um, is going to equal uh, the absorbency of the, the new concentration or the, or the diluted concentration that we know of in this case is equal to, uh, sorry, divided by 0.37. And if you cross multiply 0.37 times 0.14 divided by 0.43, you're going to end up with 0.12 molar solution of your, is your new solution, which is exactly how we predicted. Um, the constant, sorry, the absorbance is going down, so the concentration is also going down. So this is actually a good example of Beer's Law in action.